focus on the people here. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. No, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank... I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! You saw... You saw Rachel? Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? How did he kill her? He used some drug and... Gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... As if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. Neither would Chloe. And I knew Chloe and her were close. And I was jealous, but uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid, I still think you're weird. But you're cool. can't seem to escape the two whales. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean... I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa! Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All oh, because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but 
This seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Uh, what happened with Jefferson? Did... Did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Warren, I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Come on, Joyce. Folk. Hey. Be careful out there. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Jesus, this is not where I want to die. Time for this shit. Come on, Max. <sighs> Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, to Warren. It to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. 
and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... I, you asked me to end your life. And I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe.
I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Well, looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life. After all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Ugh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Chloe, I've got your back, Max. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film "little pieces of time." I'm when back in class. As he what the hell? Films, these pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our Have sorrow. Have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This color, might be hell. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition up. in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why are this? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes, you will be posing for me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. This can't be real. I don't believe it.
Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Drumroll, please. I present the spare piece of black roll. Thank you, Step Crick. Forgot I want you, little buddy. Release the keys. Did you last put those keys? Think. Think. I'll oh, screw that. I am the key master. never ends. I, I better find something. Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Give me back my keys, bitch. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Time for a prank. Keys, please. There's a lot of key here. Find it now. Please, I present the spare piece of black roll. Thank you, Step Crick. Forgot I have to choose you, buddy. Release the keys.
Okay, where did you last put those keys? Think. Think. Oh, Sal! Oh! Well, why you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm on? Water on my cashmere? Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. I know this is an awful day. You can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me, Dave. Max! No you more. used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. 
Maybe I'll Max. be safe in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Oh, Max! Oh, Max! Max. 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 Blackwell, this is Principal Well, and I'm here to draw Max. Chloe Bright and Rachel Amber, thank you. Miss Coffee. Chloe Bright and Rachel Amber. Principal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Coffee. Max. Thank you, Max. Yes, Max, you can also manipulate time. Okay, so my rewind power does work here. I can use it if I'm careful. Where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. Ape, ape, ape. Who wants to go ape? Go ape, go ape, ape, ape. What kind of sick mind? You dig my wheels, Max? Get in the car. Logan I'll take this for Max a ride. A friend, Chloe, after this. Get in the car. Too bad you Wait, Max. Miss yeah. Cop, I found. I found out who went through my files. To make sure you I'll sick David Madsen on their ass. Come on, Max. Come 
Yeah. I said get in the car now. Well, if Cruz only Kate Marsh would have jumped off that roof. Forever and Could go this hey, coffee hey, and hey. finally get her kicked out of Blackwell. She's a bad influence. Did that get you hot when you saw me fuck up Nathan? The squirrels. I did. How can I tell Max's parents that she's a nosy little bitch? Do you have a scar? Oh. I found out. I found out. Who Come over here, young Max. I found out. Who Max. Have. Files. Daniel wants to make sure you sick Dave Madsen on their ass. I said get in the car now! You if only Kate Marsh would have jumped off that. Too bad you didn't become friends with the Tabang Max. Sam Max. I'll sick David Madsen on their ass. I said get in the car now! If only Kate Marsh would have jumped off. Too bad you didn't become friends with the Tabanga. Max. Who wants to make sure you Max never snoop oh. around his room again? I said get in the car now! We'll if only the drive Kate Marsh would have jumped off that roof. And... Could blame Miss Caulfield and finally get her kicked out of Blackwell. She's a bad influence. You can't escape my surveillance, Missy. How can I tell Max's parents that she's a nosy little bitch? She's a loser just like you, Max. And you can't keep saving her over and over it, and Max. over. You're a Max? Only wait! You'll ever get in the Vortex Club? Is it a tornado? Come on, Max. Just admit that you're... Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, free. If only you could have seen Rachel, my blood-spattered oh, angel. Just because I'm mentally ill doesn't Psst. mean Psst. I deserve oh, no. to die. Bottles. This might be hell. She gave great oh. down. Especially after I dug her. Oh man, you should have heard Chloe smack talk you. Looks like there are still bottles to find. Oh, joy. Max, you need to get high like Rachel. Want some drugs? Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Looks like there are still bottles to find. Oh, joy. Psst. Hey, Max, do you want to say hello to Rachel? Jeez. Me and Rachel are floating down here in the sewer. Oh, when oh, did I get yeah. bad bottle karma? Oh, man. Looks like there are still bottles to find. Oh, joy. Why are you looking at me like that? If you took some of my drugs, maybe you'd be a lot happier. Max? Max! I want to show Was there one more left? When I bury your Don't you dare and do an away. epic photo shoot. Freak.
Max. Looks like there are still bottles to find. Oh, joy. You want to say hello to Rachel? She's posing for me in hell. Just because I'm mentally ill? Get over here! Whoa. I would be... Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey honey, just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to waste You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. So who cares if she doesn't kiss me? Oh, you should have seen her make a move on me in my room. Hello, lame. Max should see me make a move on you. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode.
great, numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Shit, Max. I was happy just being your yeah, friend. We so this scene. is oh, how Max breaks your revenge on you. Your friends Thanks for die. saving me and, and carrying the load, good buddy. That's a big family. tip for. This is what what my husband and new baby? Don't let the squirrels die. I wish we had been me. friends, Max. But please, don't let me die like that. Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? 
<laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends, and I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Of course. She's my best friend. Oh yeah, you ignored your best friend for five years while she went through hell. Some friend. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fuck. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like. Destiny? If this is destiny, let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which- Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Ra and Ra- You saved me again! Crazy! We're totally bonded for life. Since I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my- Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in- Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in- Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Photobomb! Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of big- Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky- It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so- Chloe, you're back. I'm just- Kate wasn't the first. All those- Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please not her! Chloe, come on, Max, we're almost there! Max, come on now! Don't worry, don't worry. We'll be okay! Max! Max! 
can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe? I, I must have passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. The only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... to... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, 
just love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <laughs> <laughs> 